I believe that the saying it's not the paintbrush, but the artist holding the paintbrush applies to every aspect of filmmaking. But I'm also a big believer in that a better paintbrush can help a good artist become a great artist. So today I want to talk about my favorite paintbrush as a paint, the Sigma 18-35 F1.8. So this is the Sigma 18-35 f1.8 and let me just cut right to the chase and tell you that this lens is absolutely phenomenal. Now let me tell you why. First off, sharpness. I mean for me and I'm guessing most people out there buying a lens, image quality is the most important thing. Nobody will care how much it zooms or how low the aperture goes if the image more closely resembles a potato than a cinematic piece of video. As with most of Sigma's art line, sharpness on this lens is on point. Even at f1.8 it's sharp all around, reaching peak sharpness at about f4. The only time I notice a little more softness in the corners is at 18mm at f1.8, but still really barely noticeable unless you're really pixel peeping. At times I feel like it's almost too sharp and gives off a very clinical look, but if you're a fan of modern sharp cinematography, you'll like this lens. The second reason to buy this lens would be the focal length range. Now this is a APS-C lens, so don't be expecting a full frame 18mm to 35. On the crop sensor, it translates more to about 28 to 55 millimeter. This is actually a great range. Most cinematographers and directors will tell you that their favorite lens is between 25 and 50 millimeter, which is the range that this lens covers. It's still wide enough to get beautiful, wide establishing shots. It also zooms in far enough to give us that beloved 50 mil look. Also, the super close focus distance on this lens gives you a super interesting perspective, especially on the wide end. The f1.8 aperture on this lens allows you to shoot in super low light conditions while still keeping a very clean image. Something that most lenses in this focal range don't do very well with their f2.8 aperture. It's actually quite surprising how much of a difference there is between f1.8 and f2.8. With 9 aperture blades, the bokeh on this lens looks great. And with that super shallow depth of field, it gives you some really great opportunities to get great creative shots, especially at 18mm. One thing to keep in mind though is that this lens is very heavy, especially when combined with today's small and lightweight camera bodies. If you're planning on mounting it to something or putting it on a gimbal, you should keep that in mind because on most cameras this lens makes it very front heavy. Also if you're going to be using this lens with an adapter on a non canon mount camera, keep in mind that the autofocus is going to be horrible if it even works at all, and the focus throw on this lens is not amazing. Actually, it's one of the best I've seen on a still lens, but still, it is a still lens, and it's not meant for large focus throws for video, so it could be a challenge, especially when you're trying to keep focus on a moving subject. So the consensus is, if you're looking for a good all-around lens that will go from landscapes to portraits to close-ups with superb sharpness and super shallow depth of field, this lens is for you. This isn't the perfect lens, I mean nothing is, but with everything it gives you and at a reasonable price, I recommend everyone have it in a camera bag. I mean, if I could only use one lens for the rest of my life, it would probably be this one, so if that doesn't want to make you buy it, I don't know what will. Well.